So in this video, we're going to look at the different organs of the endocrine system. So the endocrine system has several glands that produces hormones and they control several functions in our body. So one of the organs that are part of the endocrine system that secretes hormones to control the rest of the glands in the body will be the hypothalamus, which is located in here. This is a mid-sagittal section of the brain. So here is the uh, hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus releases hormones that we call releasing hormones. And this hypothalamus, when it releases these releasing hormones, it will stimulate a gland that we have here below the hypothalamus that we call the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is located within the cella turcica of the sphenoid bone. And this, this uh, gland that secretes hormones that stimulates glands within the neck, like uh, the thyroid gland that we have in here, the <clears throat> also stimulates glands that we have within the abdominal area, like the pancreas, which is uh, located just behind the, the liver and the stomach in the peritoneal phase, but we can see here the pancreas in this uh, small model. And then this uh, pituitary gland also secretes hormones that regulate the function of the ovaries. This is the ovaries in the female reproductive system and also secrete uh, hormones that uh, regulate as well the functioning of the testicles uh, to produce uh, testosterone. Now, <coughs> the pituitary gland also secretes hormones that regulate the function of the adrenal gland, which will be this gland in here on the top Okay, so <clears throat> the pituitary gland specifically will secrete, for instance, TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone that stimulates the thyroid gland to produce T3 and T4, which are tyroxine and uh, tetrayotyronine uh, hormones. And then also uh, it will secrete this ACTH or adrenal cortical tropic hormone that stimulates the adrenal gland to secrete hormones like uh, glucocorticoid, uh, aldosterone, or uh, cortisol, also stimulates the <clears throat> formation of hormones uh, that are going to stimulate the formation of sex hormones like estrogens, uh, progesterone, uh, starting here at the adrenal gland, and then uh, influencing the functioning of the ovaries and the testicles. Now, in the endocrine system, we release the hormones directly into the bloodstream. So that these hormones, which are chemical messengers, travel into distant places in the body and then it can uh, influence different functions of the body. Now, the endocrine system, it is sometimes correlated to mixed glands, which are the pancreas. So the pancreas is a mixed gland because it has an endocrine portion. So within the tissue of the pancreas, we have these islets of Langerhans which secretes their hormones into the bloodstream. But this pancreas it is a mixed gland because it also secretes pancreatic juices to help in digestion. So it has an exocrine portion and these pancreatic juices, they empty their secretion into the second portion of the duodenum. So a mixed gland then can, can be exocrine and endocrine. Like uh, in the case of the ovaries, they secrete estrogens and progesterone that goes into the bloodstream. So this will be an endocrine function of this gland, but also secretes the oocytes into the outside of the body. So that's why it's a mixed gland because it has its exocrine portion and so as the testicles. 
So the testicles, they secrete testosterone that goes into our bloodstream, but also uh, secrete the sperm cells that goes into the outside of the body. So it's a mixed blend. Now, when it comes to the adrenal gland, uh, all the secretions goes into the bloodstream, but the uh, portion that it is uh, purely uh, controlled by the pituitary gland will be the adrenal cortex, which we cannot see here in this model, but if you make a sagittal section of the adrenal gland, you will be able to see that it has an outer region that is called the cortex, that it is in control of ACTH or adrenal corticotrophic hormone, in which you stimulate the production of estrogens, uh, testosterone, and also stimulate the production of glucocorticoids or hormones that controls the levels of glucose. And uh, you also secrete mineral corticoids like aldosterone that controls the levels of uh, potassium, sodium, and water in our, in our body. And uh, the glucocorticoids will be cortisol because it helps also to control the levels of glucose. Now, within the inner portion of the adrenal gland, we have the adrenal medulla, which it is under the influence of the ANS, the sympathetic system. So when you secrete adrenaline, it is secreted by the adrenal medulla. That's why it's called adrenal gland, this, this gland. And <clears throat> under the influence of sympathetic nerves, this adrenal medulla will secrete adrenaline and that will increase your heart rate and your level of alertness. So it is under the influence then the medulla of the ANS, the autonomic, system, autonomic nervous system, specifically the sympathetic system, and the adrenal cortex is under the influence of the pituitary gland. Now, uh, we have other places in our body where we secrete hormones, like in the case of the right atrium, in our heart secretes a hormone that is called at atrial nitrolytic peptide, which helps to control the levels of sodium in our body, and at some point the volume, because sodium uh, attracts water. And also we have in the kidneys, some cells of the peritubular capillaries that secretes erythropoietin. This hormone increases the production of red blood cells by our bone marrow. And uh, we have the fat cells in our body that secretes leptin, which is a hormone that controls our appetite. So we have different tissues scattered throughout the body, part of the endocrine system that controls many functions in our body. But this uh, is just a general overview of the glands of the endocrine system. And uh, this concludes this video.